Okay, good evening, welcome to Super Round 34A. Super Round 34A, both of us are feeling a little under the weather tonight, but we had one leftover thing to talk about from this morning, okay? Yep. Now, we did a really cool problem in a geometry, in our uh, art problem solving geometry book, and it involved ratios. And it reminded me of a super cool theorem called Shiva's theorem. And I didn't write down the name of the theorem. Shiva is spelled C. A, B, A, Chiba's theorem. And it says, if you have a triangle, A, B, C, see that triangle? Yep. And you take a, a, a line segment from each vertex, and you make them intersect in a point in the middle of the triangle. It's called concurrent. So if A, X, B, Y, and C, Z are concurrent, then you have this amazing fact about the ratios. B, X divided by X, C, times C, Y over Y, A, times A, Z over Z, B equals one. One. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to show you where this comes from, and it's got some really cool ratios in it. And probably going to, it's probably going to take three videos, okay, because we're going to investigate the ratios. All right. All right. So Bx over Xc is the first thing we're going to take a look at, just that ratio all by itself, okay? Now, you can see a couple triangles that have BX as the base. Can you tell me, can you show me two triangles that have BX as the base? Well, triangle XAB. Okay, I'll call it ABX. Is one triangle that has BX as the base. And then there's PBX. And there's PBX as well. Okay. Um, and how about XC as the base? Well, you have PXC. PXC. And AXC. And AXC. Now notice that AXC and ABX have the same height. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. And what's the how do you find the area of the triangle? It's one half base times height. One half base times height. So if they have the same one half from the one half base times height and the same height, the ratio of the areas, this area to this area, is just the ratio of the bases. Do you see that? Yep. Okay. I'm going to use a notation for area like this. Just put parentheses on. That means triangle area. Just for what I'm talking about, that's a notation from a book called Geometry Revisited. So the area of triangle ABX to the ratio of triangle ACX equals BX to XC. Which is what we have here. Which is what we have here. And the ratio of PBX to PXC, those areas of these triangles, also equals BX to XC. And here's the amazing ratio thing. Okay, are you ready for this? Yep. I can um, subtract away these triangles, PBX and PXC, from the bigger triangles. You see this triangle PBX lives in ABX? Yeah. And when I subtract that triangle away, I get the triangle ABP. You see that? Yeah. Because these two ratios are the same, I can subtract them. And that seems very weird. And that's why this is such a neat idea with ratios. But it's going to turn out that the area of ABX minus PBX to the area of AXC minus PXC also equals BX XC. So now I'm talking about these triangles. You see that? ABX minus PBX, it's this triangle APB. To, what do you, what's the triangle over here when I subtract away PB, PB, PXC? It's APY. Oh, wait, no, no, it's AC. Wait, APC. APC. Okay. So the only confusing thing here is why does this work? And when I have two ratios that are the same, I can subtract them, and the subtractions end up being in the same ratio. Hmm. Is that surprising to you? Yeah. Okay. We didn't learn too much about ratios that work like that. Yeah, they're a little bit weird.
weird. So let's investigate that, okay? All right.